All right, Tom, thank you. Labor leader Bill Shorten has helped calm a damaging fight within his party by enlarging the size of his shadow ministry. The move saves the job of one of his veteran frontbenchers, but opens Labor to the very same criticism it levelled at the government earlier in the week. It's the way you leave Parliament when you don't want to talk, an underground car park. Ideal for Victorian Senator Kim Carr after his left faction mates put him through a political near-death experience. Always look forward to meetings of the Labor Party. The plan had been to fast-track newcomer Linda Burney, our first Indigenous female MP in the House of Reps, straight to the Ministry. I feel very humbled. How to make room? Punt Kim Carr. Look, I'm not going to comment on Kim Carr or caucus discussions. In fact, Labor found room for both. Senator Carr stays, but Linda Burney and four others, including numbers man Sam Dastyari, win places in the shadow ministry. Only two demotions and the pre-election retirement of Gary Gray. The end result? Bill Shorten's front bench has grown from 30 to 32. Cheeky. Given three days ago, Labor's deputy savaged another growing front bench. If that was Prime Minister Turnbull's plan, it has not worked, at least not in Queensland. The Liberals and Nationals affiliate there, the LNP, has been weighing up demanding a separate coalition agreement and party room here in Canberra. I see nothing wrong with sitting in Canberra as a separate party. Tim Lester, 7 News.